What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Farid and in today's video I want to break down the brand new release of the Lace Wallet on the Cardano Preprod network. Now if you guys are not aware of what Lace is, this is going to be a brand new light wallet developed directly by IOG for the Cardano community. Now I'm taking a look at their website here which is lace.io and what we're going to do in today's video is just briefly review what the wallet is made to do. We're going to jump over on their Twitter to just take a look at the recent announcement regarding the release of the wallet itself. And then I'm going to walk you guys through how you guys can actually get your hands on the Lace wallet. And then we're going to break down the tokens, NFTs, transactions and staking features that reside within the wallet. And so if you guys appreciate these videos, then please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions or comments about anything that's related to the Lace Wallet, then please make sure to leave those comments down below. Jumping back into the Lace website, as I mentioned before, it's going to be a brand new light wallet platform developed by Input Output Global or IOG, who's also developing the Cardano blockchain. Now, this particular wallet is going to provide us with a lot of the same functions that we've seen with other Web3 wallets already built on Cardano. This includes the ability to send and receive ADA, manage NFTs or non-fungible tokens, as well as the ability to stake your ADA or to delegate it to a stake pool directly from within the wallet. And they're also going to be providing a mini experience as well as a full-blown web experience for their wallet. Jumping over into the official Twitter for the Lace Wallet, which is Lace underscore IO, they recently made a post regarding some of the key benefits of this particular wallet. So I'm just going to highlight a few of these here. Um, but again, I recommend that you guys kind of check this out on your own. So a few highlights, it's going to be intuitive by design. So they're going to try to make this as user friendly as possible for users like yourself and I. They're also going to be making this a all in one platform. So as I mentioned before, you're going to have the ability to transact with Cardano native tokens. And I believe in the future, other blockchains as well, such as EVM compatible blockchains. You're also going to have the ability to manage your NFTs and complete staking all from within a single place. Now, it's also going to be constantly evolving in the sense that the team will be looking for community input constantly as to how they can improve the platform. And then you're also going to be able to send different asset types by bundling them together. So if you want to maybe send a few Cardano native tokens and then some NFTs as well, you also will have the ability to do that. Now, you're going to be able to also connect this to other Cardano dApps. And if I'm not mistaken, Alex was one of the key developers or builders who demoed this platform during Rare Bloom um, actually confirmed that they plan on allowing for a dApp store from within the actual Lace wallet. So you'll be able to connect to different stores or to different platforms all within their wallet. And they're going to be implementing some security features to basically give ratings to some of the dApps supported within their dApp store. Now, it's also going to be an open source community project. So all of the code for the Lace wallet will be made public. And that's also, I think, going to increase the amount of confidence and trust coming for the wallet through the community. Very lastly, there's going to be the ability to get informed in which you're going to see actually in a minute when I show you guys the Lace wallet, they've done a very good job of including a lot of learning tools and mechanisms directly from within the wallet. So now that we have that out of the way, I do want to just quickly mention that today was the birthday of Ada Loveless. And so here the Lace team also posted an additional tweet saying happy birthday to our namesake, Ada Lovelace. To celebrate, we're going to be giving everyone the chance to try out the Lace platform on the pre-production network. Now, that said, you will need to have the test ADA tokens. And I've also actually gone through the process of setting up some NFTs on the pre-prod network that I'm going to be showing you guys here in just a minute. Now that we've got the introduction out of the way, if you're looking to get your hands on the Lace Wallet on the Cardano pre-prod network in anticipation of its launch on the mainnet, I'm going to leave the official link to their Google Chrome extension within the Google Chrome Play Store. Now, once you navigate to this particular link, all you will need to do is click on the add extension button. Um, as you guys can see, because I already have the extension added, um, that button is not present, but I have the ability to remove the extension. 
So once you actually add it, um, you will then be able to see it within your extensions over here. And as you guys can see, I've gone ahead and actually pinned it. That way it, it, always, it is always visible here on the top right hand corner of my browser window. Before we continue any further, I do want to make a note that when you're downloading and installing the Lace Wallet for the very first time, you will be prompted to either import an existing wallet or create a brand new wallet and write down your seed phrase. So because I wanted to save you guys a little bit of time, I imported my testnet wallet and I've actually skipped that process in which I'm entering my seed phrase. But that process is pretty common with any Web3 wallets. Now, once you actually get access to the Lace Wallet and you open it up, this is what you're going to be presented with. I do want to note here that there's going to be two views for the actual Lace Wallet. So the first view is going to be what you guys are seeing now, which is the full extended or the full expanded view of the Lace Wallet. There's also going to be a minified version of the Lace Wallet, which is going to resemble what we see with the NAMI wallets as well. So this is going to be the minimized version here. And then if you want to open it up to the full blown experience or the full version, you can click on this full experience button here. And that's going to give you a window just like I have here in the background. I want to quickly review some of the different sections within the wallet. And then after that, we're going to dive through and take a closer look at how we can actually use them. So first we have the token section and from here we can see all of the Cardano native assets that we currently hold. And as I mentioned before, I believe that there is some talks and discussions about potentially supporting other blockchains as well. Now we have seen this support come through for the new Fi wallet in which they're supporting Cardano native assets as well as assets from the Solana blockchain. Right below the tokens, we have our non-fungible tokens or our NFTs. And then right below that, we have the ability to see our transactions. Now from here, we can see anything that we've received as well as transactions that we've sent out from the wallet. And then very lastly, we have the staking section. And so from here, we can delegate or stake our ADA in order to secure the Cardano blockchain. So jumping back over into the token section, which as I mentioned before, is gonna be holding all of our Cardano native assets. We can see how many assets we currently hold. So right now we are holding two Cardano native assets. The first is the Cardano token itself. And then the second is the Genius Yield test token that I received as a part of the testing of the Genius X launchpad. Now, right below that, we can see the total balance that we currently hold in terms of USD. So this is gonna be the total value of both the ADA and the GENS tokens, as long as the, the platform can determine the price of the GENS token. So as we can see here for Cardano, we can see the price, which is currently sitting at 31 cents. And we can see that our balance in ADA is sitting at 10,030 ADA, which is equivalent to the $3,144. Now the Genius Yield token does not currently have a price. However, once it would, I would assume that we could see that here and the USD balance would also be updated to include the Cardano native token or the Cardano token, excuse me, and the Genius Yield token. Now, if I actually click on the Cardano token here, that's going to open this details page where we can see all of the transactions that we've taken as it relates to that particular token. So again, we can see the price, we can see our balance, and we can see all of our recent activity. So as you guys can see here, I've been sending myself a little bit of ADA and some other NFTs from my other testnet wallet. So these are all of the transactions as they sit here. So let me actually open up one of these here. Taking a closer look at this specific transaction, we can see that I received two separate tokens and I can see the transaction hash listed here. I can see that I received 2000 of the Genius Yield test tokens and I also received 10 ADA or 10 of the test ADA tokens, which equates to 3.14 USD. I can see exactly what address this came from. I can see the status of the transaction, which is successful. And then I can also see the timestamp at which the transaction occurred. Right below that, I can expand or collapse the inputs as well as the outputs. And then I can also see the transaction fee associated with that transaction. So very, very detailed information as it relates to all of the history and transactions for specific tokens. So that's gonna wrap it up here for the details, highlighting the token section. 
And then as you guys will note here, um, throughout the entire wallet, there's gonna be this panel here providing me additional information. So if you guys are wondering what exactly is an asset, what's an address book, what is a Cardano balance, and how do you even top up your wallet, you can figure all of those answers out here directly from within the wallet. So I really like the fact that they're trying to do everything from within here and they're minimizing the amount of effort that you have to do outside of the wallet in order to get your questions answered. Now, moving over, I want to talk about the NFTs here. And one thing that I just noticed is that I'm actually getting different questions being answered right within different sections. So if I jump back over into the token section here, you're going to notice that I get a lot of basic information about managing my actual wallet and my tokens. And then if I jump into the NFTs, I'm going to get some additional questions or answers here about NFTs as well. So again, really cool feature there. Now, what I want to highlight here is the details that we get when it comes to NFT. So very similar to the tokens here. When I click on an NFT, I can see it visually. Now, one thing that I am going to be testing here is whether or not this actually supports playing video NFTs as well as audio NFTs. Now we did see that the Jira wallet, which was recently released, does actually support these features, which I was very impressed to see as well. So hopefully if the Lace wallet doesn't support this out of the box, it will moving forward. But scrolling down as it relates to the actual NFTs, we can see our policy ID listed here, our asset ID and the media URL associated with the NFT itself. Now, if you want to send the NFT from the wallet to a separate wallet, you can also click on this option here, which will allow you to do that. So let me just go ahead and open up my second NFT here, which I actually minted myself using the NMKR platform on the pre-prod network. Um, we can see it's just a very simple DAP Central logo. I definitely recommend that you guys check out the NMKR platform if you guys have not already done that. That was a very insightful process for me to do so. And I've got a much better understanding of how to actually create and manage NFTs on my own. So now if I actually click to actually send this NFT, you can see here that I can go ahead and provide a recipient address or the address that I want to send my NFT to. I can see the actual NFT and the amount that I currently hold, which right now is only one. I have the ability to send all of them from my wallet and I can also add an additional NFT or I can create a bundle of, I believe, tokens and additional NFTs as well. If you want to send a note with your transaction, you can do that. And then once you've done that, you can review the transaction and then confirm it as you wish. Now, moving over into the actual transaction section. This is going to be very similar to what we saw within the token section when I actually clicked on the test ADA token. So if I click on this here, again, I can see a quick summary of the transactions. Um, again, I got the transaction hash, what NFTs or what fungible tokens were received, who they came from, the status, the timestamp and the inputs and outputs. Now, I do want to note that if you ever want to send or receive assets, you can use these two buttons here at the very top right hand corner of the wallet. So if I click on receive here, you're going to see that I get a QR code that I can scan using a mobile device or I can actually copy my address by using this copy button here. If I want to send an asset, I can click on the send button here and then from here, I can see the recipient address or I can enter a recipient address. I can see what token or I can select what token I want to send and I can set the amount. I can also add additional assets or create a bundle as well as add a note. And then, as I mentioned before, I can review the transaction and then confirm it. The very last section I want to review as a part of today's video is going to be how to stake within the Lace wallet. So I've already navigated to the staking section and from here at a glance, I can see the total number of ADA that's available for me to delegate or stake to secure the Cardano network. At the top right hand corner here, I can see some additional network information. So I can see the current epoch on the pre-prod network, which is currently at epoch number 38. I can also see the total amount of time left until the epochs end, as well as the total number of stake pools available for me to delegate to. And then I can also see the total number of ADA staked, which is currently sitting at 1.3%. There is also the average margin associated with all of the stake pools listed here, which is currently left at blank. Scrolling over into the stake pool section, from here we can see the pool name, 
We can also see the ROS based on the last month. We can also see the cost associated with the actual stake pool. And then we can also see the saturation associated with it as well. Now, the cool thing about this section here is that it does look like it is filterable or sortable based on these different headers. So if I actually wanted to filter for a particular pool, I can do that as well. Let me just type something in here. And as we can see here, it is filtered and updated. Now, if I click on the actual stake pool itself, I can see additional details. So I can see how much is actively staked. Again, the saturation, the total number of delegators, and then the ROS based on the last month. I can also see the description, the social links, the pool IDs, and the stake key owning the actual stake pool. If I actually want to um, stake to the actual stake pool itself, I can do that as well by clicking on this stake on this pool button here. So from here, I can then delegate all of my 10,000 ADA, right, directly to the Bazaar stake pool. There's also gonna be a minor transaction fee. So if I click on next, I can then enter my wallet password and then click on confirm to actually verify or confirm my stake. So as you guys can see here, I've successfully staked my funds in a very easy and simple manner. The very last thing I want to mention as it relates to staking within the Lace wallet is that once you have confirmed your stake, you can see the total balance that you've staked so far. And then you can also see the total rewards that you've earned as a part of the staking mechanism. So as these epochs end, we would expect to see our rewards begin to accumulate. And then that would actually be added to the total amount staked, which would then update the total balance. What I do want to just do and wrapping up this video is just show you guys the minimized version or the minimal version of the wallet. So this really resembles the NAMI wallet. And so taking a look here, I can see very quickly which network I'm currently on again, which is the pre prod network. I can see my tokens here. I can quickly send or receive. I can see my test ADA, my test gens. And then using these buttons down here, I can quickly swap between the NFTs, transactions, and the staking platform. So from here, I can see my NFTs. From here, I can see my transactions. And then from this last tab here, I can see where I'm currently staking to. That's going to wrap it up for today's release and review of the Lace Wallet. Hopefully you guys found this information to be helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could tap the like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions or comments about anything that was covered as a part of this Lace video tutorial, then please make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, I will see you guys in the next video.